Good morning, Year 3, and welcome to your um, Year 3 class assembly for this week. I'm just going to share my slides. We can have a look at what it is our assembly is going to be on today. So our assembly is going to be on two things. The first thing we're going to be speaking about is Shrove Tuesday. And you may have a little bit of an idea about what Shrove Tuesday is from the picture that I've got on my screen. And the second day we're going to be talking about is Ash Wednesday. So the aim of today's session is um, to think about how Shrove Tuesday is celebrated all around the British Isles. We're going to learn about why people celebrate Shrove Tuesday and we're going to understand some of the different ways in which Shrove Tuesday has been celebrated in each of the four countries of the United Kingdom. So have a little think now, what do you already know about Shrove Tuesday? You might have heard it before, you may um, celebrate Shrove Tuesday in your household. Does this give you any ideas? Let's have a look. So Shrove Tuesday is also known as Pancake Day. It is the last day before Lent begins. Lent is the Christian period leading up to Easter when people often give something up. In the past, people were not allowed to eat food such as eggs. So to use them before Lent began, people would mi mix them in with other rich foods such as milk, flour and butter to make pancakes. So let's have a look at what um, Show Tuesday looks around, looks uh, looks like all over the United Kingdom. Okay, so we've got England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. So in Northern Ireland, in the past, pancakes were cooked over a fire, which families and friends would gather around, um, eager to enjoy the food. The eldest unmarried daughter of the family would toss the first pancake and it was thought that if she tossed it and it landed back in the pan that she would get married that year. But if it didn't turn over when she tossed or dropped it, she would stay single. OK, so Scottish pancakes are much smaller and thicker than traditional pancakes, which are often made in England. In some parts of Scotland, they are called drop scone or drop scone. In Wales, on the evening before Shrove Tuesday, in some parts of Wales, tin cans were kicked up and down the streets. It is thought this was to remember the task of putting away all the pots, pans and utensils used to make the tasty food that was not allowed to be eaten during the period of Lent. Creme progs um, are thicker than the traditional English style pancakes and often eaten on pancake day. Traditionally, they were cooked on a cast iron, bake stone, um, griddle or plank. So in England, one of the most famous pancake races takes place in Omni in Buckinghamshire. Um, according to tradition, in 1445, a woman living in Omni heard the church bell while she was making a pancake and not wanting to be late for the service, um, she ran to the church in her apron, still holding her frying pan. Today, women who live in Olney take part in the race wearing an apron and a hat and scarf, and of course, carrying a frying pan containing a pancake. They must flip their pancakes three times during the race. The first person to cross the finish line at the church and receive a kiss from the um, verger wins the race. <laughs> All across the United Kingdom, pancake races have often been part of the celebrations. People run, often dressed in costumes or fancy dressed, whilst tossing a pancake um, in a frying pan at the same time. The first person to cross the finish line is the winner. So let's have a bit of a quiz before we start looking at Ash Wednesday. When is Shrove Tuesday? Is it the day before Christmas Day? Is it the last day before Lent begins? Is it the first day of the year? Is it the last day of the year? Let's go with that one. B, of course it is. 
Lovely. How many countries are the United Kingdom? We've got England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Okay. In some parts of Scotland, what are um, Scotch pancakes also known as? Have a little think, shout it out. Drop scones. What were traditional um, creme pogs to traditionally cooked on? A tray, a saucepan, a cast iron, baked stone, griddle, or plank, or a shelf? Have a go, shout your answer out for me. Of course. During a traditional pancake race, what would contestants usually do? Would they run whilst tossing their pancakes in a pan? Would they stand still? Would they eat all of the pancakes or would they cook pancakes? Shout your answer out again. Of course, it's a pancake race, so they would run whilst tossing their pancakes in a pan. Okay, we're going to move on to the second part of our assembly now, and this is all about Ash Wednesday. So Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent. Lent is a very special time for Christians, as it um, is the time before Easter, when Christians start thinking about how they can improve their behaviour. They also think about the things that Jesus did for them. During Lent, Christians often give up things. They do this to remind themselves of the time that Jesus spent in the desert. They give up luxuries and try to resist temptation to practice self-discipline. They also make time to pray more and to attend church often. So why is it called Ash Wednesday? Ashes are what is left when, when we burn something. Um, and on Ash Wednesday, Christians go to a special service to repent. This means they go to church to admit the things that they've done wrong and to ask God for forgiveness. During the special service, a special cross is drawn on their forehead using ashes. Christians believe that the ashes are a symbol of being sorry for the things that they have done wrong. They also believe that having a cross down their head with ash shows their commitment to God and Jesus Christ. Okay, so why do you think that Christians think about the things that they have done wrong? Christians think about the things they have done wrong so that they can try to be better people in the future. I wonder what behaviour you might like to change. If you think about maybe the past year or so, is there anything that you would change of your behaviour? Okay, so that is the end of our assembly. Some people might be giving up some things for Lent. Um, you often hear people give up chocolate or crisps or something like that. So I wonder if you are um, taking part in Lent and giving anything up. If you are, let us know. It would be great to see who's taking part in Lent and what you're giving up and to see if you are successful. Have a lovely day um, and I will speak to you later. Bye.